another air venture. How many is this that you've attended now? Oh, this is uh, got to be about our 10th year as an exhibitor. Uh, first to appear was in 1979. <laughs> this little airplane that you're selling here has got a history, though. Give me a little bit of history on it. Uh, well, the design goes back as far as the, the mid-60s, uh, starting with the, uh, the uh, single-place, all-wood fabric guppy. Uh, single place uh, designed by Hobie Sorrell. Uh, the late 70s, his sons got involved and uh, took the guppy, designed the uh, all metal uh, ultralight version of it. Uh, in the meantime, though, there was a fully aerobatic version that was designed and built called the Hyperbike. Uh, it came out in the mid 70s. Fully aerobatic, uh, 180, 190 mile hour cruise. And uh, the last of the design was a two place Hyperlite, all metal, uh, all metal and fabric. Two place, cruise uh, 80 to 90 miles an hour, and uh, that's the one that we're in the process right now of uh, getting certified light sport. So by this time next year, we'll be able to offer your kit or a ready to fly LSA airplane. So, what is the smallest airplane that you're, or the lightest airplane, I guess, that you're producing now? The lightest one would be the single place, uh, the SNS 8. Okay. That's the Ultra fuselage light. that you have here? This is the fuselage here, uh, chrome alloy steel cage up front. Aluminum aft section. Uh, it's fully uh, Part 103 compliant, and uh, we can offer that either as a kit or as a uh, ready-to-fly uh, vehicle. Now, if someone were to take this down as a kit project, how much time would they be looking at? Uh, average builder with average tools, we're looking at uh, between 200 and 300 hours. Is there any special things that you're going to need is to, to, to do it, or can just nope. whatever take the project on? Just ordinary hand tools. Um, we do all the welding, all the machining. So basically, uh, all you're doing is assembling okay. and uh, finishing it, uh, fabric cover or paint if you like. Now, what about the wing? Uh, what type of construction is used in it? The wing's all metal, and uh, when it arrives in the kit, it's pre-assembled. Uh, just enough assembly to hold its form. The builder does the finish assembly, finish riveting, covering. And that. So we were just discussing your little single place, but this does not look like a single place here. No, this is the two place Hyperlite. Uh, right now it's only available in kit form, but uh, two place got a roomy cabin, 42 inches wide. Standard engine is the 582 Rotax, and that'll pull you along at uh, 75 to 80 miles an hour. Uh, this one's equipped with the HKS engine, four stroke. Uh, sips gas at about two gallons an hour. It puts 60 horsepower, I think. 60 horsepower. Uh, same construction as the, the ultralight. All steel, two one-piece fuselage, metal wings, fabric covered. And uh, average build time of this airplane is about 300 hours, 300 to 350 comfortably. And how many of the, your hyperlights are flying now? Uh, right now, to the best of my knowledge, there's uh, probably 400 of the original 600 that were produced that are still flying. <laughs> so what do we got next then? Well, next is the, uh, the fire-breathing big brother to the Hyperlite, uh, the SNS-7 Hyperbite. Let's go have a look at it. Now this is, it's got to be an award winner. I mean, and this is just, it jumps right out at you. Yeah, this is a jewel. Uh, this is the, uh, the SNS-7 Hyperbite, uh, designed in the mid-70s, and uh, designed from the ground up, uh, no pun intended, to be fully aerobatic, nice roomy cabin, uh, 200 mile an hour top speed, and uh, just a sweet urban airplane, easy to fly, but uh, yeah, it'll do some serious aerobatics. This airplane here looks like it was just finished, though. Has this been around for a while? Uh, it's been around for quite a while. Yeah, this is a 30-year-old airplane. This is actually 30 years old? This airplane is 30 years old. But I'd like to see the guy that built it, because I'm telling you, he's he got to really baby it. Well, let's see if I can drag him over here. Uh, so, Ron, who's this gentleman you got beside you? This is Rory Olson, and uh, he's the owner of uh, this particular aircraft. I'm told that you built this airplane? Oh, well, we, we purchased it in 86 and we've rebuilt it since then. We have new wings uh, put on in uh, 2007, but prior to that in 2000, uh, 1994, we recovered the uh, old airplane. I mean, it looks like it just came out of a showroom. Thanks. A lot of time into it last two, uh, two months, get ready for Oshkosh. Now, what are you powering this one with? Excuse me? What, what engine are you using on this? This is the 200 light coming. And what, kind of, okay, and what kind of performance do you get out of it? Well, cruise, we normally cruise around maybe 135 to 145 indicated. 
True is probably closer to 150, depending upon how high you go, right? And uh, stall speed on it? Stall speed is uh, about right about 60. Now, Ron indicates that this is a fully aerobatic airplane. Have you been using it like that? Yes, sir. I've been playing aerobatics in it for about 15 years. When I first started flying thing with my dad, we were flying sportsmen in, uh, around the Midwest here, and then uh, he kind of retired from the competition. And I, uh, a little bit of coaching, I got to where I had got to win in contests with it. And in uh, calendar year 2002 and 2003, I was the number one sportsman pilot in the country with this airplane. So how many hours have you got on it uh, since uh, you did the retrofit and stuff? Uh, let's see, well, total time on the plane is about 1,050, and I think we did the retrofit roughly uh, 100 hours ago with the new wings and the big ailerons and the big rudder. Is this equipped with uh, four ailerons or just two? Yes, sir. It's got four ailerons. They're all interconnected inside the fuselage, so that's why you don't see any slave struts. These ailerons are custom designed by Mark Sorrell for more, for more roll rate, and, uh, and they work really well. The rudder might, was my design. It's to get it uh, more, more rudder authority for rudder, uh, for hammer heads and for stall entry speeds and crosswinds. Works really well. Now, why did you retrofit the airplane here uh, several years ago? Well, in 2004, Mark Sorrell, uh, went with, with a partner in uh, Arizona, developed a wing advisory. At that point in time, uh, all the wings on the air hyperbikes have been out in the system for quite a number of years. And the plane that, uh, it, that launched the wing advisory was, uh, the wings were getting quite dry inside and the, loop and the, and the adhesives were starting to, to come loose. So uh, we inspected our wings in 2004, late 2004, and found that our, our ribs were starting to come loose. So we had to rebuild our wings. So if you're flying a lot of aerobatics, such as we were, we're flying sportsmen for the IAC, uh, we had the problem in our wings. We were fortunate enough to acquire the original, uh, the last set of wings made by Mark Sorrell, and they're a little thicker skin, but they also have the big aileron. So uh, I love the performance that I've gained by the uh, modification that Mark uh, dreamed up. Now, uh, Ron, are you going to be offering uh, this modification uh, for this airplane? Yeah, in fact, that's one of the first things we're going to address is uh, bringing the wings current, doing the modifications that they need, and then we'll move right into uh, producing kits again. And how long do you think that's uh, going to be before we actually see some production in this aircraft? Uh, it's hard to say right now. We just uh, moved the balance of the tooling a couple of weeks ago, but I would say within a year uh, we hope to have new kits available. Okay. And if somebody wanted to get an uh, update uh, on their wings, is there a website they can go to or is there contact information? Yeah, they can go to uh, www.hyperlightaircraft.com. Uh, that's our web address, or they can contact me directly at 586-212-5862. Uh, Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.